In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to fix the installation problem with the .NET 3.5 application. So in this video, you're going to need just to download a Windows 10 ISO. And if you got Chrome, I'm just going to show you real quick how to download it without using the, the tool. So go ahead and open Chrome in here. Just go ahead and type in Windows 10 ISO download. Click here. And then if you get this button here that says update now in Chrome, what you could do is you could click here on the top, go to more tools, go to developer tools. And then again on the second three dots, click there and then go to more tools and then click on network conditions. In network conditions on their user agent, go ahead and check that and then just select one of the Android choices and now just refresh your page and we do that because now you get an option to actually download the ISO directly so go ahead and select the ISO uh, version which is only Windows 10 you confirm it's gonna ask you for your language you select your language click confirm and then you select the type that you need in most cases you want to download 64-bit and I already downloaded, but it's downloading. So this is just the quickest way to download the ISO without needing to download the, the tool. All right, so once you download the ISO, go ahead and open the folder and you're gonna get this file here. And then all you need to do is right click the file and then click mount. What's gonna happen is gonna give you a Virtualized drive and as you can see mine is letter E with the files that I needed Next you're gonna go ahead and open a command prompt You want to right-click and you want to open as administrator And then from here you're gonna type a command that you need which is The ISM you're gonna install the 3.5 .NET framework using the ISM and we're gonna do it this way because installing it with the regular executable file or through the turn on and off features in control panel. A lot of people are having issues with that. So we're just gonna go ahead and force it install and we're gonna use this command here. So what I do is I just go ahead and open notepad and paste the command. And this letter is the only thing we're gonna change. So if you go back to your mounted file, mine it's on the letter E. So all I got to do is basically change the letter E here and leave everything else default, copy the command, minimize this, go back to the prompt, and then you could right click and it would paste it for you automatically. Or you could click here, go to edit and then click paste. All right. So once you type the command in, just press enter. And once you press enter, it's going to basically go through the process of installing and enabling the .NET uh, 3.5 framework. So that's how basically you install this application. If you're having problems, the typical way, and again, the typical way would be going to the control panel, program and features, turn windows features on and off. And then you're going to see the .NET framework here. I already have it running, so it's probably not doing anything because I already have it. But for those who don't have it, then you could run this command and that should basically install it. All right. So if you have any questions, leave your comment below and please subscribe.